guys, it's Dave here from Voidsmith Innovation. It's December 28th um, and we're out doing a little bit of plowing. We had a, a clipper come through this morning early about 5 a.m. Put about three inches of snow on the ground. Um, when it was snowing it was negative 14. The night before that was around negative 20. Our current temperatures outside are around negative one. Um, and obviously we're going to be forced to do a little bit of de-icing here. So we're running an 80-20 blend in the tank. It's a hair light. It's what we had left over. So we're just going to bump our application rate up to about 100 gallons per minute or uh, per acre. Look around the snowpack; it's pretty good. We have uh, a very low moisture content snow, perfect for de-icing here. Um, snowpack isn't bad; looks like about a quarter inch at the worst. Some things that we like to do um, as we're out spraying here is we like to test the ground temperature, also just so we kind of get a feel for for the elements that we're up against. Really like these infrared guns, um, real cheap and affordable on Amazon, but just going to get a quick shot here. Saying that our ground is around negative 12 degrees, negative 13, so plenty cold. Um, we got a time lapse camera set up too for you guys. We'll see how this product works here and how effective it is in these cold temperatures. So like I mentioned before, um, with the colder ground temperatures that we have now and a little bit lighter batch, um, we're going to be running a higher application rate. You can see right here in the controller where our rate is, that's where we're going to change how many gallons per acre we're putting down. Uh, right now, the last time out we were doing 85, 86 gallons per acre. I'm actually going to bump this up to about 100 right now. And um, then that's going to obviously maintain that 100 gallons uh, per acre in this auto mode here in the controller. We'll show you um, once we get up and running how that's all functioning with the different boom zones. cool things about uh, some of the settings of this controller is the difference between the auto and manual mode. Um, the auto mode obviously is what's going to be the, the part of the controller that's uh, controlling your flow rate based upon your speed to maintain that consistent application rate. If we switch it to manual mode, um, we're going to bypass all of the electronics on the sprayer itself and we're actually going to be able to tell the system how many gallons per minute that we want it to spray. And where that's really nice is 
there's a very small parking area behind me um, that I'm going to be backing down into and pulling out of and it's relatively hard to get enough speed up to maintain a, a flow rate where there's enough pressure in the system to do a lot of cutting through the snowpack. So even though we're doing our 80 to 100 gallons per acre with the system, um, it might not be as effective as we want it to be. So in manual mode, I'm going to set the flow rate um, that I want for my system. And what that's going to allow me to do, it's going to allow me to maintain the pressure at the slower speeds. We're going to over apply just a hair, but it's not really a, an area of concern because we're talking about, you know, maybe a couple gallons wasted for the, these smaller areas. But the way you do that is in volume per minute here, I'm going to turn on my middle boom and you're going to notice that you see a flow rate there. And we're doing about nine gallons per minute. It's actually we're about where we want to be for this application. And I'm just going to let that sit there. And as we back down, you're going to notice that's just staying right at that 9.6, 9.7. Um, now when I stop, I'm going to want to turn off my middle boom section because it's not going to do any of that for you. Um, you are in complete control of the system. But as I pull back out here, I'm going to turn it back on. It's going to hit that flow rate um, that we were just talking about there. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth and you'll be able to see um, the results from what we're doing here. You really don't want to go much over that nine, 10 gallons per minute. Otherwise it's going to be a very heavy over application. Depending on what areas you're doing, um, we got some loading docks here. We're going to do the exact same way. I don't mind if I'm putting down a little more product on a loading dock since they're usually one of the more uh, picky areas that we plow. But you definitely don't need to see flow rates in the 20 gallon per minute, which the system is, is very capable of. Um, I'd be a little disappointed with how far the product goes for you actually. And we're coming up on our last pass here. I'll have Derek uh, kind of show you what that's looking like as we're as we're applying. Um, and there, you know, it's pretty evident um, how quick that product is working, even in these cold temperatures. Um, this was just, you know, about 30 seconds after we we applied. Um, again, all in manual mode. There, very even application across our our entire surface. We were driving back and forth. Definitely a, a good tool to keep and, and to understand with the controller because it does come in handy in some of these uh, tighter situations. All right, so we just finished plowing another account here. Um, and looking back at some of the de-icing we just did, we were running about 100 gallons per acre, noticing that was probably a little bit light for the air temperatures and ground temperatures that we're dealing with right now. Bumped it up to 115, um, working a lot better. Doesn't take a whole lot more per acre to do a lot uh, a lot more melting um, so we're running that the rest of the night here and um, some of the cool things in the controller here is uh, like the volume tracking that, that you can see we're on right now we sprayed 165 gallons um, tonight with an area of about 1.3 acres so everything's tuned in really well for the application rates we're running you might be off just by hair because we're doing some of those loading docks but um, everything's tracking out really nice you can see this is a 300 gallon model. We have 135 gallons left in our tank. Um, we're going to spray this lot here and uh, we'll show you guys how, how this one looks when it's all done. All right, so it's 12.05 here. Um, just wrapped up this lot. We're, like I said, we're doing 115 gallons per acre on it. And uh, the results are actually very impressive. Our temperatures actually fell about another four degrees, around negative five now, um, just in that short time span. So uh, we'll do a quick drive around on this lot. Like I said, we just finished about five minutes ago. And it's pretty impressive to see um, exactly how quickly this product is working and how well it's working. Um, we still have another good six or seven hours before anyone's even going to show up to this property and um, it's burning off really really nice for them you can see right where the lines are cut there in the pavement and what that's going to do is it's going to keep generating a mixture of brine and calcium chloride um, and those lines are going to keep expanding apart melting melting all that snowpack off 
or at least enough to uh, to be very very satisfactory for our, for our customers. I mean, we are well below the temperatures that uh, even a treated rock salt would be working in. Just a quick lap around. Um, you can see some of the handicap spots. We hit just a little bit heavier here. Obviously, very high liability. You want to make sure that those are are perfect when uh, when customers show up. But I think that's a wrap for tonight, guys. I mean, we have to be back to work here in about seven hours, so that's exciting. Hope you enjoyed the video, though. Um, a lot of great footage. A lot more to come.